Hey Gemini, this is Jackie Tomlin and this is your general reading for the week on February 27th, 2023. We are leaving February behind, moving into March. Guys, remember this is a uh, general reading. To take with you what resonates with what does not behind for someone else. If you're seeking a personal reading, is JackieTomlin.com. And of course, your current weekly read is already up. All right, Gemini, you're going to have to dig for your patience and also be warned of a quick glimpse of your temper. And for whatever reason, I just want to say that y'all are catching a general attitude for whatever reason. We'll see how that unfolds, okay? You're moving forward and you're going to stop procrastinating. You're also, there's some kind of new healthcare routine going on here. Something that I'm going to say is going to focus on your self-esteem. Uh, you need to stop beating yourself up over something here. And we have, hello, Harry. You have good luck and abundance. And you also have endings and closure, okay? And new beginnings. And this is occurring between the 27th and I'm going to say about midway of March. Some kind of strong new beginning. First card up, Eight of Pentacles. Money in addition to, okay? So um, this could be um, a developing situation. This could be um, you selling something. It's something in addition to your regular paycheck. We have the Six of Cups reconnecting with someone from the past. And let me say this. I'm going to go back to childhood on this. Someone that you grew up with could also be a family member. There's a little bit of a blood chain there as well. We have the Page of Swords here. And someone's watching you. Someone's keeping their eye on you. Um... Could have somewhat of a, um, I'm going to say like a fan or an admirer or something like that going on here. We have the King of Swords, okay? Someone of authority. Someone of some type of power, maybe perhaps wearing a uniform. It could be military or regular uniform. This is also a Libra type energy, but someone, like I said, of authority that you're dealing with. And for some of you, it could be like a boss, meeting with the boss, something like that. Center of the reading, we have the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands, this is why I'm going back to digging for your patience. You are wanting everything you want it right now. There's something here you're losing patience with. Okay, You want everything to happen now. And we have the Ace of Cups. We have a new beginning in love, new feelings, new emotions. So all new there. Two of Cups indicates date night. Two of people getting together, going out, having a good time. Looks really good for y'all. Hey, okay. And we have Ace of Pentacles. Your new beginning in your financial sector. So two strong new beginnings for you guys. Uh, love and money. Okay. You guys have a tower card moment. Not fearing it. This is what I talked about at the beginning of the reading in your temper. <laughs> I got you, Harry. Thank you. So, yeah, this is um, the tower. This is, you know, your anger, your temper. It's what I said at the beginning of the reading. There's something there trying your patience. There's something there testing your temper. Um, this card does show the date of September 1st. That may resonate with some of you. Okay. Uh, it's going to be very brief and passing. But we're going to go further with these messages and see what we've got going on for Gemini's. Remember, the tower is never anything to fear. It always leads to something better. Okay? It's going to lead to something better. It's not going to lead to something better. It's um, sudden changes. So it's going to leave as quickly as it comes in. Okay? 
we have the page of Huntables, your business deal, the business offer coming in. A Capricorn may or may not resonate here. And we have the Knight of Swords. We have a quick moving week with some quick moving energy with another Knight of Pentacles. That money that we're talking about, this good business show, is going to come rushing in. Overall, this week is going to go by with the quickness. Okay? We have the Hangman. You guys are feeling stuck. You feel like things are not moving. This is going back to what's right beside that patience problem I talked about. Okay? It's like you're not moving forward, you're not moving backwards, there's no movement. Well, you need to be still so the answers that you seek come to you. Hello, Jean. The center of the reading. Yes, be still because the hermit says you're on the right path. You might feel all the jiggity, you might feel all scattered, and you may feel all impatient. However, this says that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for the time being and that you are indeed on the right path. With that, I've got the King of Cups. There is a huge offer of love here. Uh, could be a Cancer, doesn't have to be. Um, this is something I'm, I'm seeing more relationship, more, more of the longevity, more of the committed type issue here. Okay. And we have the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, total happiness, and total contentment. With that ace of pentacles brings in the queen of cups okay so the queen of cups says to open your heart open your heart to receive love open your heart to give love we've got next to the emperor and empress the highest love couple in the tarot so yes there is definitely a power couple here at play and then on this tower card we have options okay we're going to take this to the extended bonus card for gemini Two of Wands. Two of Wands says you have two paths to choose from. Some of you, this is travel plans, but it really feels two different paths. Okay. So, yay. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget JackieTomlin.com if you're seeking a personal reading. If we part here, that's fine. If you want to join me for the extended, the link is in the description box below. Or visit the channel's homepage where you will find the join button there. But we're going to get in more to these options and why the tower is here. All right, gang, I'll see you over there. And if not, I will be returning here with Cancer in just a few moments.